Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been seriously so long since I vlogged. I've actually vlogged a couple of times, but those videos never made the cut. Um, but today it is two o'clock in the afternoon. Oakland and I are heading to a last minute doctor's appointment. She has um, a little rash on her hand. She's had it for a couple of days. I didn't really think anything of it. I thought it would just go away. Um, and then last night she started scratching it as she was falling asleep. And then this morning she's been scratching it. And so we're gonna take, I called and they said, since it's Friday, just come in. Um, Cause we don't want it to go untreated over the weekend in case it's something that like is really itchy to her. We're going in, I'm sure, I mean, it's fine. It's not a huge deal, but just wanted them to check it out anyways. It's almost her nap time. So I'm just leaving a little bit early. See if I can get her a nap or if she stays awake then we'll just have a nap after on the car ride home, I don't know. I also have a little present to drop off for one of my friends. Um, it's just kind of accumulated cute little stuff that I am taking over to her. And that's kind of all, but I just got the urge to vlog today. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I also have a video that I started last, like last summer, at the end of summer, it's a, her playhouse like overhaul we changed it and everything um, but we didn't have where it was sitting done so I just never posted it last summer because I felt like it was incomplete um, but we are doing our backyard these last couple of weeks and in the next coming weeks and we finished the area where her playhouse sits and it looks so good it's so cute now um, and it's totally playable now so I'm gonna post that video Maybe after this one, maybe before, I'm not sure. You guys will have to see. I don't know when I'll post either one, but um, I just have to do one more quick overview of the house finished now that it is finished and do my voiceover because I didn't talk at all. It's just a bunch of montages of us like painting and fixing the house and everything. Um, so that is also done, which is gonna be fun. Two videos completely out of the blue that no one expected. Um, but I've been taking YouTube very, very, very slowly and just kind of doing it at my pace, at what I find good and comforting. And I actually have another video coming up with another company that I'm partnering with. Um, and that's probably part of the reason why I wanted to like subliminally vlog. Um, because I don't want you guys to think that I'm just coming on to like do sponsorships and then peace and out. Um, but it's a company that I really love and that I work with and we use every single day in our house. And so I definitely wanted to work with them and like do another video and I have a really good idea for it. I'm really excited. It's actually going to be a really, um, I don't want to say highly requested, but it is something that I get messages on Instagram all the time about because I share like her toy rotation and how like all of her books and just like her playroom setup but we have a small house we don't have a playroom it's just my living room and her bedroom and so I that's like kind of what the video is gonna be about is like how I have a playroom and how I rotate her toys and like do all of that stuff having no playroom because I think that is really important I think everyone thinks you need to have a huge house and have a playroom and be able to you know do all these things when that's like just not the case you don't need to have those things and if you don't have them you obviously have to make do like if you, your kids need to play with toys or read books and they need a place to do it whether or not you have a one bedroom studio apartment or if you live in a mansion there's got to be a space for them so i think that is gonna be super exciting but i don't really have anything much to talk about i just thought oh, i'll vlog today <laughs> why the heck not so yeah four minutes in we're just driving Okay, we're at the doctor's office, but since I called and made the appointment rather than it just being like one of her like monthly or like yearly wellness checkups, we have to use the illness entrance. So they, especially with COVID, so they're gonna come out and like take our temperature and everything, make sure we're good. And I think I'm just gonna have them look at her hand while she's asleep because she's back there asleep in the car. And that will be so much easier because she won't fight them because she doesn't like people like Lately, we haven't been able to look at her hands or anything like if she's not in control It's a no-go. So I think if they just do it while she's sleeping, it'll be ten times better. So we'll see Really great angle, but I'm worried they're gonna come out and see me they are the nicest So she came out and checked and looked at her hand and then she she woke up 
while we were looking at her hand and she's like you know what let's just keep her comfy like we have no problem we'll just come out here and look at her hand because it's not like a weight or a full checkup or anything and so like just yeah just keep her in the car we'll just come back out to you and i cannot like oh my gosh this is the best place they've been her doctor since literally the hospital and this is the best place i'm so happy that this is her pediatrician they're amazing i love the triage line like i call all the time if i have questions because what first new mom does not have questions all the time you don't want to feel stupid for like calling your doctor making an appointment if it's like nothing so i have a triage line and i just call them like i used to call them all the time i don't anymore but i just call and talk to a nurse and then let them decide if i need to come in or not or if they're like it's no big deal just wait it out i freaking love them okay seriously five minutes later they, the doctor came out and chatted and she was so nice. We've never seen this doctor before. The doctor Oakland always sees. They don't rotate or anything, but um, our doctor doesn't work or isn't in the office on Fridays. I think he's in like the hospitals. She checked it and she said, um, I was worried it's gonna be hand, foot, and mouth just because it was on her hand and it looks sort of similar. Um, but she said, she checked her mouth and her feet and everything, she was like, there's nothing else, so I don't know why it would be hand, foot, and mouth. I'm not gonna call it that. And I told her we're doing a lot of yard work. We're literally ripping up all of our grass and like playing outside and in the dirt, and she loves that. And she said, I'm gonna call it just like a fluky thing, maybe like a plant that she touched she's allergic to, but it doesn't seem horrible or like anything. It's, she only itches it every once in a while, so. Um, she said I could do Cordaid, which is just like a over-the-counter cortisone cream, and put it on like before nap and bedtime, just so it just like rests on her hands um, to make it not feel itchy. Um, but she said it'll probably clear up in a couple of days and it should be fine. So I'm happy it went really well, and it's kind of what I expected. I thought maybe hand, foot, and mouth, but I also was very like leaning towards it's probably something to do with the grass or the fact that we're like completely tearing up our whole backyard and redoing it um but yeah that was really good i'm really happy and now after doctor's appointments it's kind of like our thing to get milkshakes um she loves drinks and slushies and popsicles and milkshakes and just like smoothies like i literally could put anything in a smoothie and she would drink it because it's just she likes that so we're gonna go get a milkshake and take it home and it's three o'clock so riley should be done work here pretty soon especially on a friday because he starts so early so we're just gonna hang out and i will vlog a little bit of that You wanna go inside and eat? We're at the dump now. Mickey Mouse is playing on my phone so Oakland can watch it. Um, we sat her forward facing for the very first time just because we're in the truck and um, it's just easier to put her forward facing in here because we had to come to the dump and whatever. Anyways, um, ooh, we went out to lunch at a place called Teriyaki Madness. It was so yummy. We've been there before, but it's so good. Um, Riley is back there dumping all of the sod out. So our backyard, we laid like half of our yard with sod last summer and we got some free sod from some random guy off of Facebook and we laid it because we like didn't really know much about what we were doing. We should have just bought it from the very beginning because then the sod that we ended up buying later is like a way different type of grass. It looks way better and, but then the sod that we bought, we got it like later in the summer and we don't have sprinklers in our backyard yet. That's what we're doing this, we we're supposed to do this weekend but it's raining right now. So that's what we're doing like this week is we're putting in our own sprinklers because it's like three thousand dollars for someone to come in and put your back sprinklers in and like we don't have a big backyard so it's just it blows my mind but riley and his dad have done it before they've done it before they can definitely do it again and now we're gonna go back home i don't know what we're doing the rest of the day but the plan for later is to lay like do the trencher get our sprinklers in lay some more sod and yeah Woohoo! That didn't take very long. <laughs> B 
be soft. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh. 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 